So Crooks the Big Heist is a 70s themed heist game, like a strategic sort of heist game, um, where you're trying to rob stuff. It's a bit, a bit silly, a bit lightweight, and um, it's meant to be a lot of fun. Uh, I've only played the first couple of missions. This is just a let's try to give you an idea of what things are. The release date is, I believe it was August 25th. I just looked it up, so I should remember that. And it is a squad-based, pausable sort of strategic heist thing, kind of puzzly elements, uh, different things like that. Can I continue the story? Nice. Let's just go and load that up here. I like this dude, the hippie lock picker guy. Oh, I'm actually in the middle of a, of a mission here. I don't want to be in the middle of a mission. I want to go to the city map and talk about the, the overall thing. So there's a campaign, there's a plot, there's all these sorts of things. Um, <clears throat> you can see here I've only done the Don't Crook Now, which is the tutorial mission. Uh, a Fistful of Pink Feathers, I finished that, and I'm currently on a reel of 7 inches. And then it looks like the campaign will actually branch out and give you a lot of different routes that you can uh, explore. One of the nice things is you can go back and replay the mission uh, to get higher scores, and you can have unlocked things. Every mission unlocks some new... Uh, you get some new characters or some new items or something like that. And so you can go back to the previous missions with some of the new unlocks and try to do better. At least I'm pretty sure. We're going to go ahead and load up this A Fistful of Pink Feathers again here. And uh, try to run through it. Hopefully I'll be successful since I actually know how it's supposed to go. Let me make a quick little adjustment to the scene over here. Because it's just going to be... There we go. It's being cut off inappropriately. And let's go ahead and load up this heist. I like heist movies, I like heist games. Um, this guy here's got bolt cutters. I don't, I don't know all their names. He's like Leibowitz, Lebowitz. Bit of background information here. Oh, we got a creeper explosion from Variety Gamer, who sends a lot of faces my way. Thank you very much for that, uh, for that donation. Really appreciate that support. So we're getting some background information here. I'm going to go ahead and skip this, but it tries to give you a little bit of flavor. It tries to have this sort of continuous story, but also the uh, the little intro videos also give you a bit of a guidance as to what you might have to be concerned with. It is a villa with two stories, giving us an overview. There's some guards, and this is a very early mission, so there's not going to be that many mechanics, and it's also not going to be particularly hard, but it'll be a good way to sort of demonstrate things. So now we are in the planning stage over here. You can pan around, you can look around, you can see things. You can see that there's a guard here who patrols back and forth that way that's good to know we've got another couple of guards here they are both static and there is the second floor over here which has another static guard there um, it's got some laser trip wires over here that you can set off when you mouse over something like this it shows you the noise radius so if we do set this off it will alert this guard over here so that would be double plus on good um, if we oh, I thought if we moused over this it would show us how we disable it Oh, maybe this one can't be disabled. Ah, okay. But see, if we go back to the ground floor, there are a lot of locked doors. Like this locked door here can only be opened by this switch. And this locked door can only be opened by that switch. That's where you get into some of the, uh, the sort of the puzzly elements a wee bit. Um, and so there's, again, this is a very, very simple mission, but opening the doors in the correct sequence and especially toggling doors back and forth is going to be part of the gameplay. And there's a variety of different items you can pick up. So for example, uh, over here, we actually have a locked door. Now you can use someone with the lock picking skill to open this door, or you can use a security key that you can pick up um, on the ground. There's a couple of different options there. We've also got over here, we've got a can of chloroform, which you can use to knock out a guard. Also, some of your crooks that you can bring with you have the ability to just knock out a guard um, themselves, sneaking up behind them and just whacking them on the head. Uh, we've got a crowbar here. This opens strong boxes and also security doors, although it is noisy. Whoa, hey, about as noisy as a creeper explosion. Um, thanks, tester. I don't know what that is, but I'll look into it. Um, I agree the Twitch player can be kind of bad sometimes. Oh, and here's the other thing. So there's a bunch of um, optional objectives that tend to come up in these sorts of games. For example, here you can see there's a four treasures to be found in this map, and this is one of them. That one's very easy to get. There's another one there and there. This one's being guarded by that guard, and <clears throat> I believe there's one more on the second floor right here. That's for all the optional objectives, but there's actually technically another optional objective here in that there's the strong box over here. Now, as far as I can tell, you can't pick the lock on the strong box. You have to pry it open with a crowbar. So that's going to be our general plan. We're going to go ahead and select our crew. 
Um, and, ah, oh, that's interesting. So you don't get to maybe use the lo later unlocks, or maybe I, this save isn't exactly what I thought it was going to be. But um, right now, in this mission, we only get to choose these two people. And we only have two slots. I think, uh, ultimately, you can do missions with four people. So this one's only got two, and we've only got these two. We've got a locksmith, uh, whose name is Bishop, and we've got Cleopatra, who's a very, very fast runner. But, no, you must be able to, um, what does that button do? I don't know. Not going to click on anything. You must be able to come back here with different crew, maybe in the more of a sandboxy mode, because the reason I know that is because this map has air vents in it in a few different places, like here, for example, the ventilation shaft. You need someone who has, you need your, um, your contortionist, Rocket, to be able to crawl through the ventilation shafts, and right now she's not available, so you must be able to replay these with a different composition, try to go for a better time. You also can deck your people out with some equipment to start off with. We shouldn't need it for this mission, which is good. Uh, I have 4,200 bucks right now. I could start off with some crowbars, some adrenaline boost, chloroform, sneaky souls, and uh, camera jammers. Most of these things have durations, so you have to pick and choose exactly when you're going to need them. At this point, we shouldn't need that. We can probably go and jump right into the... Uh, right into the mission as is so let's go ahead and play the heist oh we could uh, reset the guards as well to the beginning well actually it doesn't matter that's it's going to get reset at the beginning anyway but you can reset or pause the guards and plan some things out so the game is paused at the start it's pausable anytime it's not a twitch game which is really nice i do like the visual it's actually made with the unreal engine um, I don't know if I've seen too many like top-down games like this with the Unreal Engine, but the lighting, just gorgeous. Just very, very, very nice. Alright, so, first step, we do have to get upstairs. We're, we're here to find, um, well, technically we're here to find a fake of uh, something called a Luna Stone, which is upstairs, and we need to steal it before this other heist happens, is what we're here. So it's on the second floor of this mansion here. Um, so our goal is to get to this staircase here. And we can backtrack, right, in reverse here. So we've got a door, we've got another door here, although this door here is on a switch, which goes there. We can also walk through the main living room. That's another possibility. Although to get into this main living room, again, we either need to toggle that switch, which is difficult to get to, or we need to come through here, which you unlock that way. So the plan we're going to execute is this. We're going to use Cleopatra, who's the fastest runner, to get us started. She's going to come over here. She's going to pick up our suitcase so we don't forget it. A little extra money, which is always nice. Then she's going to grab this key because she can't pick locks. Then she's going to come and hide over here for a second. Then she's going to go back here. And what's important is that she's going to be hitting this switch and picking up this chloroform. So by the time she gets over here and hits the switch, this door will be open. And that will be the job for Bishop. Bishop is going to start, first of all, he's just going to come over here and hide around this corner. Then he's going to come here, go through the door, which the switch will be open at that point. He'll pick up this case and activate this switch over here so that Cleopatra can get through this door. Clear as mud. It'll start to make sense very soon. Now, what's really nice is that you can go and click on a waypoint and tell them to wait. And it's going to be very important to put a wait here because we have to wait for this guard to patrol back and forth. Now, you don't have to pre-plan as much as I'm doing here, but I want to show that it's a possibility. At this point, I'm just going to go ahead and unpause. So this guard does not turn at any point, which is very nice. There we go. Cleopatra is going in there, picking up the key, and then hiding. Oh, actually, Bishop is supposed to be hitting this switch here, too. But they can both hide around this corner for now while we wait for the, the guard to patrol by. So I'll actually pause and clear this um, path for Bishop here. Um, I'm going to set another waypoint there. You're going to unlock this switch. Then you're going to go and stand by this door. And again, I'm going to tell you to wait, so you don't go right away. And wait for the guard to go by. This is the his hearing radius, by the way. The circle part is the hearing radius, and then he's got his vision cone as well. All right, go, 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 go. So you can see Cleopatra really books it compared to everyone else. I can't do that. There you go. She was stopped by that locked door. Um. Bishop, we can actually preemptively tell you to do that, do that, and then come back over here. You'll get, you'll be stuck in a waiting pattern until, there we go, next door is unlocked. You should be able to go now. Well? Cleopatra, you're going to use your key to unlock this door, 
and then you're going to run into this room before the guard gets back. Oh, I forgot. I need to actually tell you to use your key because you can't pick the lock and then go through. Luckily, using the key is also very fast, especially compared to picking a lock. Okay, all my people are safely inside the house now, which is good. Now, I'm going to get Bishop to come over here. He should be able to sneak by this guy. We're going to open this door. Should be safe. And grab the crowbar. The other guard's not coming back. No, he's still on his way the opposite direction. Grab the crowbar and then go stand inside. We're going to need that to open the lockbox. Meanwhile, Cleopatra with the clear with chloroform, uh, you're going to come back here, open that door. May as well grab that case before we forget. And then you're going to come around here, you're going to knock out the guard, grab this case, and then run to the exit. There we go. He's out. It is on a timer. It's only going to be out for about 30 seconds, but that's all right. Meanwhile, here you are clear to go. Oh, we have an adrenaline pill over here. So I guess we'll send you that way. And he will actually automatically pick the lock on this door because he can. Cleopatra is going to be at the exit to go upstairs. He'll pick that lock. We'll grab that adrenaline pill. I'm not sure we're going to need it, but you do get extra money for any loot you come back with. Or with any items you come back with sort of unused. And then now that you're done, you can head over here. Good stuff. We're currently unnoticed. There's a heat ometer in the top right corner. If you get spotted by a camera, if you trip an alarm, things like that can increase the heat. And it can also, doing those things will also tend to aggro guards. And if a guard spots you and catches you, the heist is over. So this is the thing we're going for, this Luna Stone replica. Now, there is one guard here, but he doesn't patrol, so we've got some amount of time. We did start off pause, which is good. We do have a locked door here, so I guess we'll start off with getting Murray to unlock that. Um, and then while he's in here, he can pick up the spoils, get some extra money. There are four more treasures to pick up on this floor. I hope I grabbed all the treasures from the bottom floor. I think I did. And then I suppose he can walk over here. That should be safe. There's nothing in this room. It'll bypass the tripwire, which is good. Go. Meanwhile, Cleopatra, um, you can go and I guess you can just trigger the switch and go and grab that. Actually, because I know what's going to happen, I'm going to go ahead and just let her wait over here. I could do it. It doesn't matter. It'll still technically, because this is my end goal, this will, will complete the mission. But it does let me grab all the rest of the loot even after I've completed the main goal. So we're going to be OK. But I'll go ahead and wait. That'll be our finale. So he's going to pick up that crate. Good stuff. I'm going to go through the door here and here. And don't need to unlock that. That's good. And this guard should not turn around. So I should be able to come in here, pick up that case, come back over here. Now the big thing is I want to open the strong box with the crowbar. This will make noise. How much noise will it make? Not enough to alert that guard. Apparently he's pretty, uh, he's not very attentive, so that's good. So you're going to grab that strong box, and then you come back here, the safe route, and then get to the exit. So this should be worth a little bit of extra money. Really, you are. There you go, did not alert the guard, and he'll get out. Meanwhile, Cleopatra will open up the vault where the Luna Stone replica is, and uh, there's someone inside. Luckily, this is one of our old uh, crook buddies. And so we are now reunited, and we will be using him in the next mission. Which is a much, much, much more complicated heist. Involves knocking out a lot more guards. Luckily, this guy can just go around behind them and knock them out with a bop to the head. So we're going to go ahead and skip the, uh, the dialogue here. And pick up the final case. Should be f the final objective. There we go. Escape down the stairs. We will head in that direction. And that should be the end of the heist. Oh, we got gold on our time. No. Silver, it looks like. Damn. Thought it was going to be gold. I don't know when it changed from gold to silver. Maybe I have to get under three minutes to get a gold medal on there. Unless it just changed to silver after it finishes counting. That's possible. Just seems like the time bonus is low. I bet you we could do a lot faster there.
Is the new best score? I did it faster than on my first go through. See, now everything turns golden, so I don't know. Or no, it's calculating the heist money. That's what's going on. Is it's highlighting in gold whatever it's calculating up. I can't believe this this game is still a month away from release. It feels pretty damn polished to me. I love the graphics. I mean, I mean this. Yeah, I locked on everything for this heist. Good. I mean the. Um, the sort of feel, it's not the graphics that I'm looking for, it's the visual design. I love the visual design of the game. It's just so tacky in exactly the right way. There we go, we get some more cutscene, don't want to spoil the story for anyone. And and yeah, then the next heist, it does point out that the, the reel of 7 inches would be the next one. And it is a fair bit more complicated. Tell you what, I will load it up, we'll skip the cutscene, and take a look at the map just to see what's what. That guy! This guy here on the screen, he's a villain. More than us. There we go, just skipping those again. And so, this is only one level, right? This map here. And ultimately, our goal is to get this thing here. Alarm system circuit diagrams. We have to get that before we get to the next heist, which is the museum heist. But you can see there's more patrolling guards. There's a lot more guards around, right? Patrolling there and there. There's a camera system over here, which can alert guards, plus raises heat. And then these doors themselves, this is the main vault door, which is locked by that, patrolled by the guard. And then there's even more things to unlock on the side. And then these doors here, so this door is unlocked by that. This door is unlocked internally. But then these are all locked doors too that have even more switches that go there. So it's a little bit more of a complicated thing. Not to mention all the guards that you have to beat up and try to get out of the way. Might be a good idea to invest in some things. Maybe the camera jammer, but actually we can disable the camera by toggling this terminal over here. We just have to worry about this patrolling guard. In which case, do you avoid him? Do you knock him out? How do you want to play that one? We'll see. So we're going to go ahead and uh, wrap this up here. And this game is called Crooks the Big Heist. I think that's what it's called. And it is um, it is going to be available on Steam. It is currently not yet released. I think the release date is August 25th. If you're watching this on the YouTube, you can check the description box down below. And um, for some more information. Yeah. Heists.